What's up guys, this is George, you're watching Retro GT. And today, it's freaking cold out again. Like come on man, I'm tired of this. Ugh. Anyways, so today we are gonna be installing a switch for the Renegade. It's specific for the Renegade. It is by Daystar, it's an A-pillar switch panel. This is the one, pretty sweet. It fits right on the A-pillar on the driver's side. It's got four switches on it, blue, green, orange, and red. So you get four switches off the bat, you can see right there in the back, you get your panel, the tabs, the switches, and that's what it's going to look like. I like it a lot because it's supposed to be a clean look. It's going to take a little bit of work to do, probably more work than you think it is. You will be drilling holes into your pillar. You will have to use a Dremel tool to cut out a hole. Right where that pillar is, there is an airbag, so we will have to unplug the battery. For safety reasons, we don't want the airbag to go off. But it's cold out here, so I'm gonna go sit in the car and we'll keep talking about it. Over here to my left is the pillar. I'll switch the camera around here in a second and we'll do the unboxing real quick. So, this is what we get. This is our panel that the switch is already put on. Looks like we'll have to pull them off just to give us that, that gap in here. We need to know how big of a hole we need to cut on that pillar. So we got our light. Looks like we have our little bag of screws. Looks like a little plastic tab that goes in. So you gotta drill a hole for that and then you screw the, put the screws in. And you got your instructions, but you don't need this because you got your boy. Okay, so I already took one out, but we're gonna need to take these all off so that way we can get a good idea of where exactly we need to cut out so we have that gap. Right now I can't tell because they're all there and it's just pushing against it. I can't get a good flush feel. And it looks like they're little tabs in here that are kind of holding it together. If you look in there, you see those edges on the side there. We need to push those inward on both ends so then we can get the switch out. So we'll have to do that with all four of them. And uh, let's, let me just do that real quick and I'll show you what it looks like without the switches. All right guys, took them all off. They're actually pretty easy to take out. To be honest, it only took me about a minute to do all of them. You just gotta keep pressure on the back side as you're pushing the tabs and then they just come right out. All right, now that we have it off, we get to see where we want to put it. So, it has to sit this way because you can't really, well, I mean, you can try to sit it this way. I don't know how, how that's gonna look. I want to put mine about right here. I think this is a good spot. About three inches from the way bottom. So I'm gonna grab a pen, a marker, pencil, mark those holes so I know where to drill out. All right, with a red Sharpie, I just marked a couple dots where they're gonna be top and bottom. So now we know where it's gonna sit for us. Part of the reason why I wanted to get this is when I did my pot light video, I never properly put my switch anywhere. I honestly, I just kind of kept it down here dangling, tucked in the cords, but I kind of kept it here. Every time I go to step out, I'd accidentally kick this thing on, so it got really annoying. This switch, I think, might fit in there because it looks exactly the same way and it's about the same size, so I might substitute the switch I have with this one. Uh, one of the switches, at least. I already have this wired. I just got to wire it up higher up to here. And uh, it should work out for me, but I guess we'll see in case we run into any problems. But I'm going to do this properly now and and now the pod light video will make more sense. Okay guys, moving forward to disconnect the battery. So because we're gonna be working with the airbag nearby, we definitely don't want it to deploy. So it's very important we disconnect the negative battery. You don't have to worry about doing both, just the negative. And luckily for us on the Renegades, the only thing you gotta do is push in this little gray tab right here and just lift straight up. There we go. That simple. Let's tuck it down here. Make sure it's not hitting anything metal. I'm telling you guys, you don't want to have an accident and accidentally deploy your airbag. You also want to wait about two minutes after you do this to let your system capacitor to discharge. So that way there's no way it will go off. All right, let's go back inside. Okay. When we're inside, we can start pulling apart. So right up here, you just want to start pulling and pull it in towards the inside of the vehicle. So right there is your airbag. So be very cautious. Do not scratch it, do not cut it. I'm not trying to scare you guys, but it is very important. 
you don't damage it because if you ever need to use it you want to make sure it works okay so we're going to continue I'm going to keep ripping it apart you don't want to pull too hard because i don't know if you noticed it is still detached right there which we will get to in a second but for now we'll keep trying to dislodge it a little bit we'll work on that um, we will have to remove this piece to get this guy fully out so you're gonna need a panel removing tool actually go get your panel removing tool and remove this piece should be pretty easy shove it into the side here work your way up start working down and it should be simple easy here we go set that off now we can start pulling this guy as well move it from that rubber piece and start pulling pulling outwards should be three tabs on this guy holding this one in okay now that that's off freed this guy to come out so we'll just kind of wiggle that out as well there we go all right so it's pretty much freed and loosened up so now would be this piece this as you can probably tell there's a little push tab that we have to hit Let's see if i can't zoom in right in here there's a push tab that we'll have to hit we'll push that in that should just slide into over to the left i had better luck taking it off from this side than i did with this guy he just was a little frustrating so same thing there's a push tab like that you just got to do it to this one it'll be sticking out up here you'll see it push that in it might get caught up in there just push that in slide it right out we have it out it's free and now we can work on it we are going to be cutting back here not a whole lot but we're going to be cutting right over these so that's going to be interesting but you know anywhere higher would be the same anywhere lower will just be too low i think let me set this down get everything set up so then that way we can start drilling start cutting and get this thing finished okay guys so i have the piece sitting there you can see the red marks top and bottom where i'm going to be drilling now down here i have the plastic piece and i also have the screws that go with them so we're gonna, the hole's going to be just as big as this right so you're going to have this piece go in it's going to pop in and then you're just going to screw in right into the car so have it all set up i'm going to start off a little smaller work my way up to the bigger piece and um, and then we'll look into the dremel cutting out piece next well let's first let's drill this together and see how it comes out okay i drilled my holes and i already i already lined it up and they look perfect man i think i got it nailed so i'll mark it off somehow and then we'll just cut a little at a time so we don't overdo it so let me get that set up next Check it out. So that's what I decided to do. I think that's plenty big. You're not gonna have the switch itself actually in the hole or anything. It's just enough. You just want enough room where the back end of this is gonna be sticking out back here. I'll put all the switches back together and then we'll somewhat mount it. Just to make sure it fits and uh, we'll see the end result there. Alrighty, I got the switches back on. This is the hole, this is what it's going to sit like, and this around here is what it's going to look like inside. So yeah, you can see that the whole back is exposed, so easy plug-in access. So now that we have this all done, we can start putting it back on. But what I'm actually going to do is switch out this top one with my other switch I currently have in the car. And then we'll wire my pod, pod lights to the top one. So. Let me get that set up and then we'll start doing this. Check this out. I was able to put my Sasquatch light switch on here. Sweet. Pretty much ready to go. So now I'm gonna mount the switches onto here and uh, then we'll throw it up top. And voila, there you go. Looks like all the push tabs went in right. I haven't screwed these in yet. I might just install it and then screw it in. This is the bit you're going to need to tighten. Uh, it doesn't tell you the instructions. CRVT15. T15. Let me get this back together. 
and we'll see how it looks. All right, it's all buttoned up, put together. Last thing I gotta do is just tighten these guys up and then we're done. The ground's back in, that's lighting up. Oh yeah, you can see that lit up. Oh yeah. Nice. There you go guys. Dundee. Overall, I really like this. I think it was a good investment. Sweet, awesome place where to mount your lights. I do plan on possibly putting some rock lights in here, but I probably won't make a video on that. If you're curious to know how to do rock lights, Jake had a sweet video on rock lights, so that'd be cool. Rock lights, uh, light bar up top, who knows, interior lights, grill light, whatever you want to do. The only little imperfection I see is that it doesn't sit quite flush up here anymore, but that's a small price to pay for something that looks pretty professionally done, to be honest think I'm gonna pat myself in the back here and say that actually turned out really well all right guys that's the end of the video it was a little bit of a cold one today as you can probably tell I look freezing cold it even snowed at one point anyways that was the end of the video I really hope you guys like this one I enjoyed it I thought it was really cool thank you to the person that suggested this actually can't remember if it was a comment or somebody on Instagram but hey thank you and if you guys ever have ideas on maybe something we could do or try Go ahead and send us send us the idea leave us a message find us on instagram leave us a pm whatever works we'll look into it maybe we'll do it i mentioned jake's rock light video i will link that over here so you guys can look into that be something sweet to plug in your lights and up here i will link my pod light video so with that said i think i'm done thank you for watching this is george this was adventure gt and we'll see you in the next one